Welcome back to our book trailer tutorial. Um, I'm going to start from the bottom up on building your book trailer using PowerPoint. So the first thing I want you to do is go ahead to your start menu or your search bar. You can simply type in power and it should be one of the first few that pop up. Uh, PowerPoint, I'm going to click on it and you're going to have the choices of choosing a different type of theme. Um, there's already populated themes in here that you can choose from. Let's see. And if you don't like any of the ones displayed here, there are different options up at the top here. For right now, I'm going to choose this main event. It offers other template choice colors. I'm going to go with this one and click create it's going to pop up with your new uh, slide all right so to i'm going to give my book trailer a title and for this book title i'm going to put the boy in the striped pajamas by John Boyne. And so if I'm going to add a new slide, <clears throat> there is a an icon on the top left section of your home ribbon. Uh, you can click on new slide and as you'll see, it'll drop down with several different templates. <clears throat> so I'm going to choose blank templates just so I can show you a few different tips and tricks uh, if you decide to add them. Otherwise, you can choose already populated templates to add the different options as well. So blank template. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how to populate images. I've already saved some images into my website folder ahead of time so that I can quickly access images that I know I want to add to my book trailer. However, if I don't have those images, um, I can use the online version where I click insert under the pictures section, um, you can simply click online pictures and a search engine will pop up. So I simply typed in the title of my book and as you'll see, a cover of the book will come about and I click insert. I can move this picture wherever I want. I can stretch it. I can change the format of that picture using these tools. Um, feel free to explore. And to insert a text box, again going back to your insert and clicking text box, you can stretch out this section, drag and stretch, and you should be able to type directly into that box. So. I might write a brief uh, description on why I think the book should be read, such as this powerful book is told through the eyes of a nine-year-old boy. Give this book five stars for making me become emotional, emotionally attached to the characters. Again, make it your own. And again, you can move this around. Um, another tool that I like on this section is word art. You can explore the different options here, but I might put a must read. And you can twist and turn these however you would like. Okay, I'm going to add another new slide and showing you how to populate images that are already saved on your computer or in your documents folder. You can simply click on pictures, 
going to my documents. Let's see. Okay. And I'm just, again, exploring all that PowerPoint has to offer in no particular order. Um, Shrinking and moving as necessary. Okay, so I've done three slides thus far. Um, now I'll show you how to add transitions in music. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to add music. And I like to find some downloadable songs via Ben Sound. So this is the website for it. Um, you can test out the sounds before downloading uh, by clicking the play button and then when you're done or interested simply click download click the download free version save sound in a file that you are familiar with then you can go back to your uh, first slide go to insert Media is for sound. Click audio. I've saved my audio on PC, so I'm going to click audio on my PC. Uh, select the soundtrack that you would like to insert or embed. Here it'll pop up with a speaker. I'm going to drag this speaker to the bottom left corner or bottom right corner and simply press play. So if I want the song to continue throughout all of my slides, up here you're going to click on play in background. Okay, and the last few things that I want to share with you on how to do is adding transition slide, adding transitions to your slide. To add transitions such as fade effects um, or dissolve or slides, you simply click on transition in your ribbon um, and then whichever design you would like to add, click on it. And in order for this to play um, in your book trailer continuously without having to click on it, click on the advanced slide section, check the after box. I'm gonna give this slide approximately five seconds before transitioning. And again, same thing with slide two choose a different effect if you would like clicking the after box on advanced slide I'm going to give this slide a little bit longer so that my audience can read it so I'll give it eight seconds my last slide let's go airplane and click after Again, five seconds. To see what your video looks like in the end, click on slideshow and from beginning. Otherwise, make sure to save your work. So save as. You may wanna call it your um, book trailer or the book title. So to watch it from beginning, slideshow and from the beginning, here we go. And slideshow from the beginning. tutorial for a book trailer. All right, get to work. See you guys soon.